Um, so I think uh, it's good for Kenya to focus even on the field events. I think we are seeing the rise of some few triple jumpers and long jumpers. They're yeah. doing good. So I think Kenya is a great nation uh, in the sports sector in every in every aspect, every every part of that. And Raymond, um, I love the fact that you're very confident that uh, Kenya can uh, actually do well in the relay and probably even improve the national record. But what is your realistic target as an individual athlete? As an individual athlete, I'm um, okay. I have the Kenyan spirit that I, yeah, I'll go to the finals and uh, make it to the medal table. Mm -hmm. But uh, 400 meters, 400 meters, not that. that yeah. It's a technical it event. Yeah. So I just hope that I make it to the semis. Then from there, I'll know what to do. Because uh, going through the heat, it's an Olympic. Eh? Mm. The, 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 the times possible, they are very fast. So I hope that I'll get into the semis first. Then after that, I'll see what I'll do. And here go. Um, after your promise, of course, and after taking up javelin, um, you know, I feel that uh, no Kenyan even paid attention to. Uh, we saw Matthew Sawe just a few days ago uh, get crowned the Africa high jump champion. Uh, for you, when you see athletes prosper in the field events knowing that uh, you probably uh, played the part how does that make you feel you know uh, lean for me there's nothing precious like you know having a, a fellow field athlete competing in a in a major championship like that and you know when i i saw sawe you know winning the african championship in south africa you know i was very happy because that's where i started uh, I, I won the All African Games in 2011, and that's where I started now. To and everybody realized that uh, I had the potential. And I've never doubted Sawe. It's just because of the exposure that he he's been lacking. But now he's proved that uh, he's worth a champion. He's an African champion, and we need to give a lot of respect to that. And you know, when I saw here that uh, we didn't have the high champ uh, trials, you know, I was sad, and yeah. I called uh, the head coach. Uh, Julius Kirwan asked him uh, why that uh, we're not having the item because uh, Sawa was really capable of qualifying and uh, when you're coming in, in a, 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 a big championship like that, African championship and you you know you, you are the champion and there is a meta trial like what we had uh, here in Eldred. You know you have the ego, you want to prove that uh, I won in South Africa and then I want to go further and represent Kenya in, uh, in Olympics and and I thank God because the Olympic competition decided that uh, Sawe should be in the team and, you know, it was the best thing and, you know, Sawe is my friend, uh, he's been my friend for a long time and, you know, we, we, co we always communicate with Sawe and, you know, I'm happy for him and, of course, remember also we have the race workers and, and oh, yes. it's we pleasing have, to have, have a, three race workers yeah, we diversify the, the kind of events we're taking to Olympics and, you know, like, Chris, I know the lady, she's been doing so well. She's been no, very she's consistent. Been doing, like five-time African champion, you know, it's, it's worth you know, there is no words to describe her, but um, at last she is making to Olympics. I think she it will be the first Olympic. I think so. And mm -hmm. you know, I know she, going she to can be surprise. Her first I'm sure Grace might surprise many people in Rio. Hmm. And, yeah, and yeah, go, um before we move on from the field, uh, from the field events, of course, uh, Sawe is your friend. He is going to his first uh, Olympics, uh, coming just straight from the Africa Athletics Championships win. You know, what kind of advice? have you given to him or are you planning to give to Sawe if he's to make it to the level that you are at now? Uh, we, we've been having advice between me and Sawe, you know, I give him advice, he give me advice and for him of course he's, you know, just to go and Rio and enjoy, not to put himself in any, any pressure because uh, that, that might also, you know, get into your head and if that gets into your head and then sometimes you, you lose it but yeah. I want him just to go to Rio, enjoy the moment you know he's already an olympian because he's going to rio and you know when you are an olympian it's it's forever it yeah. never changes but of course when you reach it reaches competition time you know try to to prove that you you can still you know uh compete at high level uh i know his results you know when you go with the the world the ranking progression. yeah but you know this is an olympic uh, championship it is not a diamond league whereby maybe you won Two thirty and above. You never know what happens. Remember in London, mm -hmm. in the high jump, uh, I was there. I think uh, the bronze medal was won at uh, I think two twenty-seven. So it's zero point zero, it's zero point zero five mm -hmm. uh, shy of what Sawe has. And yeah. you never know what happens in in Rio. Maybe yeah. God has just planned for you. Yeah, you never expect that. Remember Keshon Walcott when he won the London Olympic in Javelin. He threw 84 meters, and nobody was able to throw further than that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know when you compare now the 
the season throws at that time. You know, we had many 88 meters, but yeah. 84 was the winning distance. Maybe, maybe sometimes, maybe some people cannot imagine about it, but mm. maybe 221 is what winning the Olympics. Good. Yeah. And uh, Raymond, as of course we wind up and move on to other races because I also want to let you go. You've been here for long. We appreciate. Um, we are heading, uh, we're looking at, uh, we have, for example, um, 400 meters, we have Emmanuel Mark Mutai, rather, who is the Commonwealth uh, champion. Um, probably we haven't seen much for, from him um, since then. And um, there hasn't really been a, cons a consistent Kenyan sprinter. What do you think needs to be done for Kenya to be able to have a consistent sprinter? Um, what I think, personally, I think uh, Kenyans, we have, the, we have coaches, but uh, some of these sprints are technical. And um, I think Kenya has to maybe chip in to have some coaches from outside and let them train our coaches on how to do the sprints. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that's how we can go far. Uh, for example, uh, Botswana, I think that they have two coaches from, I think they came from the United States. So that's why you see uh, Botswana lately has been performing the short, short distance uh, races, the sprints. Uh, in the African Championship, uh, a guy won it in 44 something. Yeah. And last year, we were in Congo, but he didn't manage to get into the semis. So I think, uh, for example, you can buy that from mm -hmm. outside. Let them come, teach our coaches how to do it. That's when we'll start seeing a consistent sprinter. Hmm. In Kenya. Thank you very much for coming, Raymond. And of course, all the very best uh, in the Rio Olympic Games. Diego, before I leave your final words, I want uh, to probably ask you, um, you know, looking at uh, how your season has been this year, what's your main focus, Olympics, or are you also looking uh, at probably how far you can throw? Uh, no, for me, uh, I'm not uh, looking on, uh, you know, uh, how far I can throw this season. Uh, now what is remaining, the big thing is uh, Olympics. And, you know, I try to win the Olympics, not how far I throw. You know, it's not easy to see long throws like that. Like 92, 72, uh, you know, it's been 14 years uh, when we saw such a big throw and, yeah. uh, from last year. And, you know, like this year we have 91, 28 from uh, Thomas Roller and 91, uh, 04. And remember last year I had 91, 39 and then 92 and uh, a foul over 91 again. And you can see uh, sometimes it's very difficult. Like for javelin when you have such a big throw. So I remember I was, I was talking with my manager after I had uh, 91 uh, in uh, Birmingham. Uh, maybe people forgot that after I throw 91 in Birmingham, I was again down. Uh, just because, uh, you know, when you give a that, when you have such big uh, results, sometimes, you know, your body has given much. Yeah. And, yeah, you become tired. And uh, I don't expect to have maybe more than 92, 72. That's my record, but I'm not trying to beat 92-72. You're trying I to win an Olympic Olympics, medal. Olympics, yeah. Okay, so thank you very much, Ego, for coming, and all the very best. Uh, Kenyans, I'm sure, do hope that you get to fill uh, your cabinet and, of course, complete your medal collections. Thank you. Yeah, so, and, uh, yeah, I want to appreciate uh, that you came and that you've been here for that long, and I will now let you go, Dory. Next time, I promise, we'll have air conditioner. Thank you. <laughs> that was uh, Julia Siego and Raymond uh, Kibet, of course, two of Kenya's representative to uh, the Rio Olympic Games. Uh, Raymond Kibet in the 400 meters and, of course, uh, Julia Siego, the lone Kenyan representative in javelin. And moving on to other athletes who made the team to the Rio Olympic Games, we go to the 10,000 meters race, which actually was the first track final of the National Olympic Trials right here at the Kipchoge Keino Stadium. And that race was won by V. Vivian Chariot followed uh, by Betsy Saina while uh, Alisa Prot got a wild card. Let's have a look at that race. Vivian Chariot akatupatia nishani ya shaba. Kwa hivyo mara hii ni lazima waboreshe watupe nishani zote tatu za pili yuko Betty Zaina, yuko Gladys Chesiu, yuko Vivian Chariot. These are really 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 hot names here. Announcement. Basi uh, tangazo imeika. Wajani. Hey. 
imejaa ufuri ufuri ndugu yangu nikwambia hii race ni nani sasa nani ni nani wewe 11 laps to go There she is now, Vivian Chariot, coming, running, Lord Ranger now. Anu Pizzi Saina, Akio Apili, Cheptai, Cheptai. What's up in here? Oh, Fati, please, Fati. Nama. In the 10,000 meters. There she is now, bed designer. Bed designer now. And I see Marekani with you. 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 Coming very strongly in third spot, third position now. All right, Betsy, you got about 60 meters. Cynthia Limo, she's also very close in there. You can have a look at the crowd, my friend. I want to see the Kubiminika. 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 There are two laps to go now. For here. Masaizi yaka anafanyia kule marekani Nakambia She shifted her base To return I want to see Catherine Dereba She's there Conversing with Arab Soy There's also a chain, there's a church there This is a great Member Of the National Olympics Committee And of course, uh, Vivian Chariot called the double and she will be doubling at the Rio Olympic Games. Remember, she once again emerged the 5,000 meters winner on day two of the National Olympic Trials right here at the Kipchoge Keino Stadium. And in that race, she will be joined by Helen Obiri and Masi Chirono. Let's have a look at how the 5,000 meters race unfolded right here at the Kipchoge Keino Stadium. We also have Janet Kiza. The only can be what, as I said, Kimansi, she's also there. Ellen Obiri, quite a number of us, do understand her to be a 1,500 meters runner. Today, she's competing there, 5,000. This is a, this class, classic group of athletes. Leading now, Viola, giving, giving the Ethiopian sleepless nights. Shaila Chapkirui, the African champion, she's here also. Shaila, she's there. Janet Kiza, he's also a renowned uh, athlete in this particular event. Not forgetting the former world junior in the 1500 meters, Veronica Nyarwai. She does also steeple just at times. Boniface Tiren, thank you. Bonyamuti. Helen Onsando Obiri is the lady ahead. Helen Onsando Obiri. Remember, Obiri is the world Indo champion. Wall Indo, Janet Kisa, one nine one. The pace will have to improve. Tiran, remember the national record holder is uh, Vivian Chariot. She has um, uh, fourteen minutes twenty two seconds. That is the national record, and I think second best ever in, in the continent of Africa. Remember the world record holder can understand that uh, Moses Kiptanui one, one time took a world record in 5,000 meters when they were running with Daniel Komen. Viola Kipiot, a regular doing so well in the Diamond Leagues. This, uh, this, uh, I mean this here. And of course, uh, the double. Akumbuka, Mwenzangu Toho. Uyu. Vivian Cheriot kama mwenzangu mwangi huwa nasema ni mama Alan ni anaongoza kule mbele akifuatiwa karibu na Helen Obiri na pasi ya tatu masi na pasi ya tatu inabadilika kidogo anake na pasi ya tatu walikuwa masi cherono lakini 
and in the cha in championships, anything can happen. Look, I want to see here. There will be, let me tell you, a spectacular finish here. There will be a spectacular finish here. I depend on your interest. What you have to do, Billy? To want to be a mommy, I have to be a Vivian and Olsando Billy. Ladies and gentlemen, Masaya Kule Sasa. 350 meters to go now. This year. And of course, what you've just seen right there is the 5,000 meters race final uh, where Vivian Chariot, of course, made the team and she will be representing Kenya in both the 10,000 meters and the 5,000 meters race. Now we shift focus to a shorter race, that is the 200 meters race, that of course uh, the final was there yesterday and three Kenyan athletes will be taking part in the Rio Olympics. Let's have a look at that race. Na mshindano limeanza maridani kabisa Finali ambio ya miti ya miambili Anakuja Peter Mwai pale mbele National Champion Peter Mwai Anakuja Anakuja Peter Mwai Anakuja Kevin Kanata Kijana huyo kutoka marekani Peter Mwai nyo huyo Anakuja Peter Mwai Kevin Kanata La Water race Hello Diana Peter Mwai Hello Bingo kitaifa Get it I was just wanted to be fast for the home stretch. I just maintain the mechanics and drive the goal home. Yeah, I hope the winning today shall make me to present Kenyan the real. Yeah. Quite a spectacular race right there won by Peter Moy, but unfortunately Peter Moy will not be boarding the flight to the Rio Olympic Games because he has not attained qualification times for the Games. However, Mike Mukamba, despite finishing a distant fifth in that 200 meters race, he is one of Kenya's representatives to the Rio Olympic Games. Let's get to hear uh, what his expectations at the Olympics are. Uh, as you saw, I've not, I'm, uh, I've not won the race, but uh, I hope to be better to improve on my training for the next uh, one month because I've already qualified for the Olympic Games, so it wasn't a big deal for me. Uh, I was fatigued from the Africa Championship because uh, the traveling was a lot, and I hope to be, to be well before the Rio Olympic Games. And well, that is Mike Mukamba, one of Kenya's representative in the 200 meters race. Remember, in that race, he will be joined by Karvin and Kanata, who will also be boarding a flight uh, to Rio. And moving on, or rather going back to the long distance races, the 5,000 meters race was the other final of the one of the Olympic trials right here at the Kipchoge Keino Stadium. And Caleb Mongangi bagged a ticket to the Rio Olympic Games. Remember this, uh, Mongangi will once again be up against Britain's Mo Farah, trying to at least uh, redeem Kenya in the long distance races. And well, we will have those pictures probably later on in the show, but we go back to the short races again and uh, we have a look at the 400 meters women and how that race unfolded. Well, we are going to take a short break, but do stay with us. We will continue coming to you from the Kipchoge Keino Stadium, where we are doing a review of the Olympic trials, having a look at who made the team, how did they make the team. Remember, a total of 57 athletes uh, who are a provisional team have been named to represent Kenya at the Rio Olympic Games. Let's take a break. <laughs> 